Well, hey, folks. Welcome to another ins installment of, well, trying to make the Jetty Wolf right yonder a little easier, a little more updated. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, with the ethanol and everything in the fuel these days, um, I was just out. I guess, what was it, last week, and I'm getting Raycor fuel filters lasting me three months, maybe, uh, it seemed like, I don't know why, but the engine was spittering and sputtering, and I changed out the Raycor, and of course it was full of water. If you remember, I did that video where I cut a Raycor filter open, and found that it's nothing but a paper filter inside and it was just sopping full of water well when I got my boat I got the Raycor filter system and I didn't like it because it didn't have a clear bowl and there's this whole deal I think when they build boats and if you fill fuel filters in a confined space you know, or, um, you know, uh, in a separate space, the bowl has to be metal. Okay, so I never had a clear plastic bowl on my Raycor fuel filter so I could ever see water or anything like that. And here it is. This is the head. This is the head unit here. Here's the actual Raycor filter. Mine took, I uh, used this S3228TUL. And there's the bowl, which is like aluminum or metal or something, which is the plug. So when this thing filled up full of water, when you look in the back of my boat where my fuel filter is, you can never really tell what was going on. So what I did is I bought the new MARPAC. It's called the MARPAC Quick View Water Separating Fuel Filter System. Uh, for quick checks of fuel and filter quality and allows water removal. And here it is. There's not that much on YouTube about it. And the big deal I, f I, I have, and I'll show you in a minute, um, is when you buy this thing, you're kind of in the dark. Okay, so let me clamp up the camera here, and let me start showing you what I'm actually talking about. Well, to reiterate, here's a Raycor filter. Metal bowl. Could never tell what was going on inside this thing until the engine starts spittering, sputtering full of water. Here's the new MARPAC unit. I got the the whole head unit for it. Alright. There's the whole MARPAC unit. There's like one other guy on YouTube that's discussing this. And it's all clear, as you can see, with a filter inside, a drain. You turn this and you can drain off any water and fuel. There's this red ring inside. And when water gets in there, that red ring starts to float. But here's supposedly the big advantage to this. You can take this off, just like you would do any fuel filter. All right. This will be mounted up in the boat, right? And now, you only replace what needs to be replaced. So, you would undo this, take the bowl off, and then from this unit, you unscrew this and change it out. That's all well and good because guess what I did? I bought like four spares. I got four of them sitting here. Four of them. Plus the one that came with it. This is only like seven bucks on eBay. 
this entire system because I just had to go to the store and get some fittings this entire system so far has cost me about a hundred bucks plus to do this changeover and I'm not really sure you know if it's all gonna work we'll see so this screws back on and then this goes down in your bowl but here's my big big beef with this company Marpac and they don't mention it whatsoever anywhere that I could find um, okay here's the head unit that would be bolted up this goes on ray cores have always been known to, in my life as little hole let's say this is a ray core little hole big hole I've always used the big hole so if you have a big hole head unit you can't take from what I understand because it doesn't say it anywhere you can't take this one and now put it on to your old your old head unit because if you see this for sale I mean like all over eBay and stuff <laughs> and at marine dealers they're selling just this then you gotta go look for people who are selling the entire thing and it costs you know twice as much or whatever so this ends up at like 30 bucks or something then you add this and it's into you know I don't know 60 bucks or something I can't remember exactly what it, what it all turned out to be but that's small hole small hole so when you have a ray core unless you've got the small hole you got the head unit you can't use this you must from what it looks like to me you must buy the, the new head unit which I did there's problem number one you don't I mean, you don't, you got to decipher this stuff because Marpac isn't telling you anything. Marpac, if you're listening, um, <laughs> you might want to say something. This is called a Nochromium head kit. Okay, and it came with a filter, with the container, with the canister, and the head unit. But my problem was, is this is the way my Raycor was set up. I had a fitting in the front. That was my out, going to the outboard, going to the Suzuki. And let's see, I had, here it is. So this was my out, and over here was my in. So, I mean, this is the kind of stuff you run into. I mean, I understand, I, you know, I know all, I always say, I know it going in. So, go into my outboard, coming from my fuel tank. So, and then they block this side off. <laughs> um... Well, at first, I didn't know. You don't know anything to do with these sizings of what's going on on your new head unit here. So I take these off, the Raycor uh, existing, and I go like this, thinking maybe, uh-oh, wrong size. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, okay, so what do we got to do? Because it's supplied with these. It get, they give you two plugs, and they give you two straight nipples here. Okay, that's what they give you in the package. Well, I need mine. I can't have my hoses way to hell out over here. I need my hoses coming straight up. So... 
there's a trip to Home Depot. Remember, everything you do, be it your house, your car, your truck, your boat, your trailer, everything's at least a trip to Home Depot unless you've got some ungodly shop. So I had to go and I had to buy these little adapter elbow jobs. And now I can fit this in here and then take the supplied little nipples and put them in there. So now my hoses can come up because what I have, and it has the, has the markings on it, in, out, out, in. So you can obviously just put this on any side. And then of course, I felt there would be just like that. So that's the trials and tribulations of going through changing this out. But this filter that you replace it is just like the Raycor. This is what a Raycor looks like inside. And it's a replacement filter, the latest in fuel filtration design used for portable marine fuel systems. That's what another thing that bothered me. Portable? What are we talking about? Gas cans? So I'm not throwing away my Raycor or doing anything. I'm keeping it. Uh, replaces filters for all and all MARPAC quick view assemblies. Uh, designed for use with portable marine fuel systems. Again, that's what it says. So 10 micron filter cartridge, disposable ethanol fuel compatible with Viton seals that won't shrink. Replacement filter for all MARPAC quick view water separating filter assemblies. So, I'm hoping this is going to work. Because I'm just kind of a bit over this system and how, what these cost. So, um, we'll see how it works. I hope everybody kind of understood what I was talking about. Um, so now I'm going to change this out. And I'm going to be going fishing tomorrow, and I guess I'll see. Because, see, this has a big inlet hole for, for bigger suction. This has a smaller inlet hole. Can't suck as much, right? But then again, the inlet and the outlet and everything are larger than on the Raycor. So I'm all confused. I'm hoping, um, I don't know what they mean by portable. I'm thinking gas cans. I'm thinking, you know, a tank laying on your deck. Uh, E10 and E85 compatible. Universal replacement filters fits Yamaha, Honda, Suzuki style filters. We'll see. We'll see how this ends up working out. But like I said, I'm getting I'm not getting rid of any of this. I'm putting all this back together and gonna have it sitting, waiting in case something doesn't work. Here's my beef. They don't tell you enough. Small hole, big hole, portable what? The other fella on YouTube, he's putting it on an outboard like mine. It wasn't some little John boat with a portable tank. He's putting it on his boat. And I'm putting it on my boat, and I'm gonna see how it works because I wanna see the water that collects and be able to easily change out. Throw, throw one of these in the boat. I always carried a spare Raycor on the boat anyhow. Okay, that's what happened the other day. I unspun the Raycor, boom, boom, boom. We, it was all stuck. Everything got stuck. I could hardly, took me and two other guys, thank God I had some real men on the boat, and took us to get the bowl off and then to get this off. I had a tool, but then the bowl didn't want to come off, so we had to smash a hole through it. Just all kinds of stuff. This Marpak looks like it's a whole lot easier to use. So, I'll put a uh, 
end card and of when I cut the ray core open and what that looks like. I put an end card at the end of the video. Um, and I'll put a link to this and then their catalog, the bar pack. And of course, you can count on Dave. I'll follow up. Because how do you know if anything works if I don't follow up? So if you're a subscriber, you'll get the follow up if you're a boat owner. And if you're not a subscriber, you should subscribe for the sheer fact that I do things and then I follow up on them to see. Then you'll know if it's something that you want to do or try. That goes for reels, rods, rigging, boat stuff, hooks, line, leader, swivels. <laughs> I do it all. Uh, so we'll see. And I'll give you a little shot of what this all looks like when it's done. All right, I'm all done. And let me tell you something. Under this carport, in the summer, you don't have to go to the gym. All you have to do is work on your boat. It is so hot, it has to be 100 degrees under here. But let me show you what I've done. This is the hatch right here, and there's the filter. Brand new unit on the top. There's the filter full of gas. So um, I hope it works. But that little red ring, if you can see it here, hold on. There's a little red ring right on the bottom. When that starts floating, there's water in there. And then, of course, what you do is you loosen up this little petcock and drain it into a cup or something. And um, pump the bulb and be on your merry way. And then after a while, take that filter off and just spin on a new filter, $7 filter. So that's that. I'll show you. Let's see. here there she is she's filling up all right well this is my little back hatch live well timer live well and wash down pump which is cool because it just sits on rubber feet I don't even have it bolted down. Um, here's all my fuel lines and everything. And then back here, I carry a funnel. A big Mr. Funnel that actually separates water from fuel. I don't know if you can see it here. I don't want to have to pull it all the way out. But what it does, it separates water from fuel down to like 10 micron. I think just like this. And I did a video of that long, long time ago. If you have some old fuel and you want to get the water out of it, run it through a Mr. Funnel funnel. And it'll separate gas and water. And I keep it on the boat here just in case anybody ever needs gas and they need a funnel and or I need gas and then funnel and all that good stuff. So... All right, thanks for watching. Till next video, see you on the water.